Whether it's games, email, social media, or texting, smartphone users spend an average of two to four hours per day on those phones, and that is causing a growing epidemic doctors have dubbed text neck. Symptoms can range from minimal neck pain to serious long-term problems. And joining us today is one of the country's top spinal neurosurgeons, Dr. Todd Landman, to talk about preventing and treating text neck. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. First I'm of happy all, to be here. as someone with terrible posture to begin with, this is very <laughs> troubling. Tell us about text neck. Well, text neck is a condition, obviously, from texting, and the reason is, is our head is sort of like a bowling ball on a broomstick, if you will. So, in neutral position, our head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds. But in texting position, which is about 45 degrees forward, our head weighs 49 pounds. And at 60 degrees, which is a very common texting position, you'll see younger people, it's 60 pounds. Is that right? Whoa. So two to four hours a day has 60 pounds of force oh, on your neck. I'm in trouble. You are in We're trouble. We're all in trouble. We're all in trouble. <laughs> right? I feel like I'm not in as much trouble. I'm never on the phone. I well, really... Well, you're the winner for the day. Yes, I am. That, that only because of I have little kids. Um, so now tell us, how big of a problem is this if there's a dubbed text neck? Well, the, the issue is, is normally it causes just neck pain. What we're more concerned about and what I'm seeing in my practice are more and more young people coming in with more and more neck pain because obviously smartphones and tablets are much more prevalent mm -hmm. and digital schooling. So what's happening to these kids because their spines are growing and right. still developing and we don't know what's going to happen down the road, but my job is try to help prevent text neck turning into surgery neck. I've had three surgeries on my neck oh. because as a surgeon, my head's down like this sure. all day. So I've had fusions and disc replacements and things like that. So we want to help prevent surgery neck and the ways to do that. And there's some simple areas that I recommend to my patients. So on the one hand, you have young people who are basically growing into this problem, but how about older people who haven't grown up with with technology where they'd be looking over constantly, are there a different set of problems that they might face than say young people? Well, the older people are already degenerating their spine a little bit. And so because the force loads, we're looking at biomechanical studies, there's a lot more force loads on the discs. They're degenerating and herniating. And then those patients usually get some pain pinching a nerve with numbness or tingling down an arm. And those patients might need surgery like a disc replacement or fusion. And I run a lot of studies on disc replacements. Let's talk about some remedies or some things that people can do other than sitting up straight, which Jory and I are both yeah, really yeah. trying All of now. A sudden, just, <laughs> sitting next to you, doctor, you have really good posture, but is there some other tips that we can do? Yes, so there's th obviously one th thing is hold your smartphone up. Okay. And if we can hold yeah, it up here, which is not natural, but if we try to do this more frequently, obviously it's easier. Using two thumbs has been shown to sh or cause less pressure than one. And if you have a workstation, center of the screen, you want eye level in front of you and the keyboard low. If you use a laptop, really set the laptop up, get a wireless keyboard. And then I was talking about Michael Phelps earlier in swimmers and what great posture they have. They work their extensor muscles on the back because they're swimming. That pulls their shoulders back and gives them better posture. Sort of like the English actors like Sean Connery or yeah. so forth. So I have my patients, if they go to the gym, just cable rows neutral, low row, and then high row. This works the muscles around the back of the shoulder blades to stabilize you back. And if you can't, don't have a gym membership, you can just use bands and hook yeah, them in the door. Exactly. And the last thing I tell my patients when they come in with this, because the curve of the neck should be this way, it's reversing the wrong way because it's forward all the time. And I'm worried about this with the kids. As oh, I yeah, tell them this. to do the Landman Macarena exercises, so you lay on the bed in the morning, Put your hands and let your head roll back, stretching the ligaments in the front, and that contracts the muscles in the back, getting you ready for the day and do it at home at night. Okay. And then if you're at a stoplight, if you guys are on brakes, just take your fingers, push your chin back. I showed you that earlier, yeah. Jory. Yeah. That's a good look for you, Jory. That. That's yeah. a good look for you like <laughs> nice this. Double yeah. Chin yeah. yeah, it gives you the double chin. How many chin. chins do we have there? Yeah. <laughs> and the last, just reverse neck crunches where you push back on your hands and build the muscles back here. You do those three things every day and it should help. All right. Wow. Dr. Thank Todd Thank you Lanneman. so much. Good, Thank you. Good, Thank you. Good Thank you very much. No, we really appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks. I think Thank we got you. a lot of uh, really important information. Super important. Yeah. All right. All right.